Welcome back to the Incline NFT podcast. My name is Andre and I'm here with my guy, the one and only Kenny Honest. This is the podcast where we talk about all things NFT and we introduce you to some of our favorite art and artists within the NFT space. And today's topic of conversation language, the lingo that you need to be knowing when you're getting into the NFT space, you probably already heard about blockchain, gas, um, you know, transactions, you know, crypto, Ethereum, Bitcoin, you probably heard all of those basic videos. Um, we're coming to you talking about some of the lingo that you're going to hear when you're in the Twitter spaces um, and when you're just out and about talking to other people and some of your friends and family about NFTs. So Alpha, Kenny, what does Alpha mean to you? Uh, alpha to me is pertinent, timely and valuable information. So it's basically like when somebody gives you something that you wouldn't have known otherwise and, you know, it's good. I don't, want, I don't want to say financial advice, but it might be good art advice to to cop one. So hell yeah, I have alpha as any info or any project that might be valuable very soon or in the future. It's just anything. It could be an idea. You could have an alpha alpha idea or it'd be an alpha project. To me, it's kind of an important term because the alpha it means like, you know, what I'm saying you almost need to buy this. If you, it kind of leads into another term like FOMO, because if you're not in on the alpha and you're getting the alpha late, could lead to FOMO and you'll fuck around and miss out on some shit. Yeah, I mean, FOMO is something where you're like you see a lot of volume going through a project. Some people had scoped the alpha early and you see the opportunity passing you by and you don't know whether it's going to be good or not. But sometimes you just buy in for the fear of missing out. Right. Um, it's a it's a FOMO thing, but. Disclaimer, this is not if, uh, financial advice, by the way. So don't take Yeah, care. absolutely. This is purely and educational. The FOMO in this space is intense because you literally see things go 10 times its value or 100 times its value overnight sometimes. It's not right. weird for art to do that. You know, artists will give their art away for free sometimes and people immediately flip it for crazy. So the fear of missing out is very real in NFTs. The next one I want to talk about um, is sniping. This is one that you might not even know of. If you have heard of alpha before, you might not have heard of what a snipe is. Um, so what does sniping mean to you, Kenny? Uh, sniping is getting a piece of artwork before anybody else can. And you, there's like certain ways that you can advance your edge to get that piece before anybody else. And it's kind of like, it, it almost is looked at as greedy, right? Because yeah. it's like you don't tell anybody. You increase the gas transaction on your uh, on your wallet, and you make sure that you're the one who gets that piece. So that's yeah. what sniping is. Yeah, to me, um, sniping is like is really is a lot like taking advantage of a sale. Essentially, sometimes people list things low. They don't know what they have, so they'll list things lower than. Um, you know what the value is actually so you go and buy that and then you have an immediately you immediately have something that's more valuable than what you bought it for and sniping is kind of the opposite of alpha because mm. if you're sniping something you're not sharing that quote-unquote alpha with anybody else if exactly. something's listed below its value or something um because yeah, someone's can, gonna someone else is gonna come grab it exactly it's a choice yeah you can either snipe or you could share that alpha with somebody else for them to yeah. take advantage sometimes the projects these big ten thousand piece projects will have one or two pieces that are undervalued that are already listed um so i think sniping refers to more of those like within the projects you kind of spot something that is lower than all of the other ones you buy it really quickly i've gotten a couple of snipes off of him can he snipe would you snipe a you snipe the sam you guy right or what did you snipe yeah these? I stay sniping everything, bro. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm heartless. And I'll share the information afterwards. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like look what I just got, guys. Yeah, I mean, yesterday we sniped those, um, the go-go dot the go at 45 Tez. Yeah. Uh, and now there's 71 Tez. Might be the alpha right now. The go-go's might be the alpha right now. So we'll probably drop a link. And when this drops, it might be still undervalued, but I think by that time, this might, uh, that project might not financial advice, not financial advice. advice. Once again, exactly. This is all educational. And then the last one I wanted to talk about in this episode is a rug, a rug pool is the correct term. Um, but now it's just kind of the shorter form is just a rug. Um, so what does getting rug mean rugged. to you? Yeah. Getting rugged. Yeah. Um, rug is somebody pulling the rug from under you. So it's like, you have a project that's promising, uh, that looks promising and it ends up not being promising, or you have an artist that you know you might like their piece but it turns out they copied and pasted it from somewhere else mm. um 
or you have an artist that just falls off the face of the map so that your art can't be uh, accurately valued because your artist is, you know, unreliable. Right. So it's just ways that a project can disappoint is I would consider a rug pull. For sure. For sure. And we were kind of talking about this in uh, Twitter space the other day that you have to be careful with buying in because a lot of these projects don't have plans for 10 years, 15 years down the road. And it's simple economics or tokenomics, right? It's mm. a lot of people come in as artists and they don't think about the tokenomics of stuff, but um, supply and demand, you know, if there's 10,000 10,000 generative projects. Yeah, that's 100,000 for you to choose from, you know, and it's right. just uh, it's hard to find those quote unquote diamonds in a rough. We'll close it down there. Thank you for tuning in. This episode was all about um, just some lingo in the, in the space. We talked about alpha sniping um, and we talked about some rug pulls. So thank you for tuning in, guys. Again, this is the Incline NFT podcast and we will see you next time. Peace out. <laughs>